provided to the furnace so that the furnace are producing the carbon dioxide outside. So carbon dioxide outside will be the producing the so carbon dioxide outside are polluting the environment. So those carbon dioxide outside the electric furnace are that we are treating the boiler. The boiler produces the skin. So those skins are the driving the skin turbine. So those skin turbines are the rotating. Those rotations are the, the rotate the generator and the we produce the output power. So the, because of the co-firing power plant, the carbon dioxide are being produced. So those carbon dioxide are the polluting the environment. Therefore, they would have to reduce the uh, carbon dioxide. So we are using the solar electric system. So sun energy falls onto the solar panel. So those solar panels are produced the electricity. Those electricity are we supply to the inverter and the AC grid we been supplied. So that in this case, then electricity also we supply to the battery. So that this is for the renewable energy system. So we use a wind turbine, we use a geothermal energy, also the energy through system tied away. By this way, we can reduce the uh, pollution, pollution caused by the co-firing power plant. So that because of that, in this case, we had to uh, reduce this greenhouse gas emission. Greenhouse gas emission is we had to use a lesser electric power. Also, we had to use a less heat and the air conditioning. We had to use a you no know, energy efficient bar. We also use a also the less hot water system and use a offset. So those are the uh, strategy to reduce a greenhouse gas emission. So also we are using the coal generation and the combined heat and power. Coal is a fire the furnace, so that the furnace are produced the boiler and the produce the boiler is also produced the heat. Those heats are also driving the steam turbine, steam turbine connected to the generator and we produce the electricity. In the meantime, the outputs are steam turbine output we use as the steam. The steam is a we we pass it through the heat exchanger. This is a yeah, after they connected to the cooling tower. The cooling tower we we are the converted steam into the water. And the water we put, put into the tank and then we water pass are also rotating and then we feed the water back to the boiler. So that this are heat engineer system, we also heat the water. So this heat water also we can utilize a hot water supply. So this is the combined heat and the power system. So combined heat and power system is cogeneration system. So we also utilizing the combined heat and power system. By this way, we can reduce the you know, power energy efficiency. We can improve the power energy efficiency. We also use the reduction of the energy use and greenhouse gas emission. So we have to design the energy efficient building system. Also, we use the natural light. Natural light is a descent to the end up to the building. So that instead of we are using the the electricity, we use a natural light, natural light system. By this way, we are using an electrification, especially the uh, big supermarket system. We call the skylight. So the front of the skylight, the sun is a uh, fall into the skylight, and then the uh, illumination is provided to the uh, building. So this is the way we are using the natural light system. In this case, sometimes we also need to orient the building to the wind direction. So the so the wind are entirely end up to the building. Therefore, the air circulation can be provided uh, naturally. So by this way, we have to reduce the uh, requirement of the air conditioner. So there are energy uh, efficiency, energy uh, efficiency, energy reduction principle, you know, promoting the increasing the use of the uh, nature's uh, energy system. So we have to utilize the uh, appropriate materials and insulation to protect the heat flow. Also, we have to utilize the energy efficient equipment. We have to implement the energy saving program. And by reducing the energy the wages, we also utilize the electricity to reduce the greenhouse gas. So we also have to find out the recycling system. Recycling is a, we use the appropriate recycling system. So we use the recycling as a material and we have to reduce the pollution. So the type of the recycling materials are the glass metal, organic paper, plastic, and textile. So those are important aspects of the energy efficient uh, building system. So the 
uh, we also utilize a recycle lane so they are the appropriate recycle lane so we have to uh, apply the recycle those strategy to reduce the greenhouse gas emission so use a ceiling insulation system because of the most of the heat are coming through there's a ceiling therefore by using the ceiling insulation system we can protect the heat so if you protect the heat transfer we can uh, reduce the requirement for the air conditioner and we don't need to uh, switch on the electrical power supply by this way we can reduce the energy also the opening at the north facing with the last window because of the in australia most of the uh, sun energy are coming to the building through the from the north so we had to use a north building so last window that we provided so by this way we can get the some nature's energy Placing the shade test tree adjacent to the house to reduce the heat energy. Installation of the solar water heater system. And also the installation of the solar electric gas system. Installation of the reflectors or cutting system. By this way, you can reduce the electrical power. And try to use the green power. Install devices to reduce the water. Installation of the water tank. Installation of the nature gas heater. Installation of the cells are closing door. Those are important aspects to uh, reduce the greenhouse uh, gas. Then you have to answer the two questions. Two uh, questions are the energy, no? the greenhouse gas uh, reduction strategies are uh, question. Then we saw the sound program. We need to determine the uh, required circuit breaker to protect the uh, circuit. So in this case, a uh, nine double socket outlet. So, so the nine double socket outlet with nine multiplied two. So this is the eighteen socket outlet. So the, what is the power? First socket outlet is a one thousand watt, and another socket outlet is one hundred watt multiplied the remaining socket outlet. This is the two. So this way we have to find out the table C2 of the AS3000. So this is the AS3000 rule, table C2. Give us C2, you have three thousand rooms. So, to the socket outlet is a total power. So, to the power is give us C2. We are using as a three thousand. So this is a rule here. So socket outlet not is in 10 MBR. So the 1000 watt for the post socket outlet and 400 watt for the each attention and socket outlet. So this is a rule we have to utilize. So that electric installation, where is that electric installation? So this will be the you are required to install a nine number. No, 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 You are required to install a nine the best uh, 10 MBR socket outlet. So this is for the factory. So this is a factory system you utilize so in this case uh, uh, this is a socket outlet application. No, this is like you are a software guy now do it. This is not so yet. I not doing not the only other name. What you die on Lama, I will be there. Die on the Lama, I will be there. Pay 
八一八月工压力，力度大一点，要倒闭的，造成来造来干什么的？那我往上面收给了时候，这些包的发收给了时候，我就对着往上面，我 and the addition 的，我铺完的，我铺的 e addition 的收给了的。So this is the rule we give them. So this is the pattern. You know, we said we use the table C two. So this is table C two. Is a first socket outlet. Is a this is how many socket outlet? So this is one thousand. What multiply with a four hundred mark multiply remaining socket outlet. So this is with so the socket outlet is a eighteen. So the first thing you have to take the one thousand. Addition is a ah. 400 watt multiply 17, so this is the way we calculate for the uh, power. So this is the socket of the calculation. The number B is a way to determine the required circuit breaker to prove the socket of it. So in this case, we have to calculate the uh, socket of the so uh, circuit breaker side. So that way we have to find out the uh, total uh, to the circuit breaker. So to the total power is 2700. So divide by 244, you got the current. And then this current, based on the this current, we have to find out the to the circuit breaker. So we have to compare the table C6. So this is a protected by reading. So you, this is current and also the uh, contact side with the calculation. So there will be the 11.25 MBR. So in this case, 11.25 MBR, if we utilize it, this is the current 11.25. So there are no 11.25, so we have to utilize a 16 MBR. Then this is the given side we calculate. So this is the way we calculate the given side. 1 by 5 millimeter square is a key result. The next one is 2 by 5 millimeter square, 4 core e-circulator, uh, circular TB as a install enclosed in the air for the conditional 3-phase socket outlet. So in this case, we have to determine the temperature is a negligible way. Why is a maximum size of circuit breaker? So we have to find out the TVC C. TVC C is the 20 MBR. So 20 MBR here, this is 20 MBR. The 20 MBR, then this is for that, find this way you call, call it a cross section area of this. The wire we calculate it. So then with the 255 millimeter square, so the 20 MBR, this is the way we calculate it. Then you also look at this, uh, the remaining node. So we can also find out the appropriate uh, socket outlet design. So this one is uh, we can find out the how the determine the socket outlet maximum demand calculation. This is the way we calculate it. Then we see this uh, socket outlet uh, polarity. So left side is, this is called the active, right side neutral, bottom one is R. So active to neutral is 234, active to I is a 234, neutral to I is a 0. So here yeah, is a, this is, we call it, no, infinity. So we measure the, between the resistance between neutral and uh, R, there must be the infinity. So socket out the wiring diagram. So this is the we have to write the wiring diagram means this is for the R link, this is nuclear link. So I and nuclear connection is the MBN. Here is the RCD. So at this, so this is for the electrical current uh, from the main switch connected to the uh, RCD. So this is a red is a connected to AT and connected to the circuit breaker and go to power. And neutral is a here connected to the 
nuclear and also green is a the out. So this is for the electric power supplies are connected. So this is for the electric main supply connection. This is for the connection of the three phase uh, electric system and also measurement system. So here is a connection is that this is a so socket outlet. So this is circuit breaker. So I think this is neutral link. So we have to measure the uh, resistance between the, this and this one. You can connect the 10 ohm. Here, this one, this one, you can connect the 5 ohm. Then you have to measure the ohmmeter. So by this way, you can measure the polarity. So this is a polarity measurement uh, connection diagram. So this connection diagram, we should that here is a 10 ohm, here is 5 ohm. So this connection like this here in Ukraine. And this is the alden, and we measure the 10 ohm and 5 ohm. And we measure the resistance. By this way, we can measure the polarity. So this is the cross term with the ES at 3017 root. So as it does, that must be the switch on in a 10 ohm, switch on infinitely. At the new train, switch on is a 15 ohm, or is an infinity. You can do I switch on a 5 ohm, uh, switch on is a 5 ohm. This is the way we have to connection. And this is the connection of the final circuit. Final circuit is subway may, may switch, and also some may, and uh, this is the connection of the light and the uh, socket outlet. This is the final circuit. So, and uh, here is a connection of final circuit, it's a, a predicate connection. Look at the light and look at the switch method. This is the look at the switch method, look at the light method. So, this is a look at the light, final circuit. And this is a, also the look at the switch, final circuit diagram. So, uh, there are the different electric gate installation. So they must not be in the same conjunct because sometimes we do the wire line and the telecommunication line. We cannot run the wire and the power in the telecom line in the same conjunct. And high voltage and low voltage on the HR low voltage must not be in the same conjunct. Low voltage cable must be the insulation. Marigo cable need the insulated for the high voltage level. And also the skirting and cranking system they are functioning to use as an angle system. So we have to read as a 3.9.8.4 of the as a 3000 rule. Also, electric gas service and the gas and the water must be the nodes are proximity. So they are they must not be close together. All the electric gas and water must be separated. So the, this is for the important aspect. So the underground service is that we have to read as a 3.7. And then, so this is for the like, uh, underground uh, requirement. All the underground telecommunication system, we have to start right in the different country. So today's lesson is that uh, I explain you about the energy reduction of principle. In the meantime, I explain you about the maximum demand calculation, the determination of the maximum demand for the socket outlet, and also electric gas or wire configuration system. Those are today's lessons. Then we are talking about the electric engineer wash up like this. So the next one is the physical and the psychology gas are <coughs> hazards in the workplace. The noise is uh, defined as an unpleasant and wanted. So this is the noise. So industrial noise are the machine noise, noise on the hand to noise on the uh, transport, and also the different kind of the noise source. So the, the, the noise source are producing the noise. So the 
dangerous noise are the blasting and explosive and the heavy uh, machineries are producing the noise. So we have to protect the noise. So the, the noise control method is uh, the best one is the elimination method. We have to eliminate the noise and reduce the noise output. Also that we containing, containing means that we have to put the appropriate angle shell to uh, contain the noise and so that we use a personal protective equipment. So especially that we have to utilize the ER plus to protect the noise. So this is for the how to protect the uh, unpleasant noise in the work environment. So in this case, uh, a certain or noise is based at 60 decibel. ER plus are limit the noise level between 60 to 85 decibel. decibel. So, Vibration also program because of you are using the electric to power two because of the vibration your hand can be injured. Therefore, the, the workers are need to uh, utilize the appropriate uh, regulation. We have to frequently uh, expose to this uh, noise level vibration so they can suffer the permanent injury. So the vibration is a, uh, in this case, uh, the worker can suffer the itch in the arms and the shoulder, also the damage to the nerve system, vibrating of five finger in hand can happen. Also the type of vibration, level of vibration, and the duration and frequency of vibration, they are the extent of vibrations that can damage the, the human body. And then in the meantime, we also need to be aware of the other wireless and radiation system. Other wireless radiation is an uh, invisible radiation rays. They are emitted from the sun to the energies are produced from the sun. So it's contained as a three-way length. So the, especially the 400 nido uh, meter to the 355 nido meter, 800 nido meter to 100 nido meter. Those are the other wireless uh, uh, radiation level. So we have to do other wireless radiation uh, uh, absorbed by the ozone layer, but in the sub, in the sub, during the radiation time, especially the 12 uh, known to the, the 2 p.m., this is the uh, most of the uh, sun rays are fall onto the earth. So, therefore, the, the eye induced uh, absorbed 99% of the other wireless, so it can damage your eye. This is why you have to uh, wear the appropriate sunglasses. So indoor radiation are uh, also can produce by the wedding machine. So the low wedding machine produce that rays. So they really need to be the protected. So this is the important aspect. So another thing is that we have to utilize the uh, ultraviolet radiation. You have to, there are two methods to reduce the ultraviolet radiation. First method is a appropriate you know, engineering aspect. We have to use a shake GABA. You have to utilize appropriate shake, actually GABA has to utilize too the other vinyl radiation. In the meantime, our administration, instead of walking, allowing the worker to walk outside, you have to allow the worker to do the inside activity. By this way, you can reduce the uh, radiations uh, as well as by the worker. So another thing is uh, overuse uh, syndrome. Overuse syndrome is uh, if you are using the too much, uh, uh, you are walking for a very long time, you will be the injury can happen. Therefore, the, you have to be the uh, a way of not overuse yourself. So that we have to control the appropriate uh, band, what band need to be the show at the appropriate uh, level. Therefore, that you need to, don't need to bend your back to do the job or head to need to be the ergonomically the design also in modern aspect. In the meantime, you also have to utilize the appropriate uh, Personal protective equipment, protective equipment, protective uh, clothing, protective uh, head cover, protective ear plus sunglasses need to be utilized. In the meantime, you have to reduce this uh, uh, work related stress. If you are too much a uh, psychology stress because of you are working on a deadline, so that uh, to meet that your deadline requirement, you have to put the too much uh, effort. So this is also, uh, you also suffer. So that you serve, this is why the stress only programs are also important aspect. So sweat can be the result of the uh, doing the work. So most are uh, uh, you have to meet the deadline limit. So sometimes you have to face the anxiety because of sometimes our workplace is a uh, restructuring happens. So you face the anxiety. 
and also the different work condition. You are changing from the one job to the another place, so that they are with the different work condition. You face with the environmental impact or technology changes. They are also impact on you, so that those are the world leaders stress can suffer. In the meantime, competition, consumer demand, and also sometimes are uh, your instruction given to use to use are uh, the unclear and very confusing. This also causing then your stress, and also the uh, passengers are. Uh, uh, protection equipment or the workplace relation problem, they are also impact on the person. Therefore, they, because of the uh, workplace are stress, you can suffer the frequent head age, feeling exhausted, also loss of the energy, change the appetite, and also sleep difficulty, and feeling the worn out, run down can happen. Therefore, you have to be the stress release of programs are also important aspect. So this aspect uh, we are talking about the workplace uh, environment and uh, workplace uh, protection. In the meantime, uh, we have to talk about the uh, sheet metal uh, walls. Uh, I explain you about the sheet metal. Sheet metal walls are the electrical install uh, industry. You are using a sheet metal. We are forming a given tree. We are using a given duct and trunking system. This is a sheet metal. So the, the sheet metal is called the quality. They call the magnetic. They are called the toughness. They call the dustality, malleability. And also the hand, uh, hand hardness, appropriate corrosives are the system are key metal. So the kind of the sheet metal materials are the mice We use a mice for a straightforward casing, coating to prevent the corrosion, zinc and kneeling. Also the brass is also utilized for the electrical equipment. Now they are stronger and harder than the copper, not the magnetic the system corrosion. Aluminiums are utilized for the electronic housing and also the, they are hard to sew down. And also the light, cheap, and the good conductor for electricity. Those are kind of the sheet metal being utilized. So that when you are using the sheet metal, are also the copper or the salt also easily can sold out of it. And also good conductor for the both electricity and heat. And four brass are prone uh, that we use for the tack copper and also the uh, stiffness backing, also the uh, easier to bend. Savers are the good conductor and sweet conductor and the low resistivity. And also that we utilize the silver, also the monium metal, and also the lithium uh, copper, the electric sheet they are using. So that we have to use the appropriate uh, sheet metal for the electrical contact, corrosive resistance, and the laminated magnetic core. So the sheet metal side are uh, need to cross them with the Austrian standard AS 1123 1972 edition. So this is the uh, shape of the sheet metal. So the shape and the dimension of sheet metal. The sheet metal's thickness is a 0.3 to 3.2 millimeter or 3 by 2 to this. Uh, now this is the sheet metal. So sheet metal can be cut by the tensile. Tensile are utilized to cut the sheet metal. And also the, for the last sheet metal, they are tips made out of the, uh, 150 millimeter or 400 millimeters. Uh, next, we have to cut the thing on the sheet metal. Also the uh, we have to utilize the appropriate squeaking hand nose. Also, the last sheet metal had to be cut by the guillotine machine. So we have to place a sheet metal onto the guillotine machine, and we have to uh, press the uh, foot up, press, then you can cut the sheet metal. So in this case, those are the uh, sheet metals are holding material. You use the pan, you have to utilize the hand notching, also the sheet metal bending fold out in, and we can cut the whole the sheet metal. So today the thing is that we are talking about the sheet metal and also the workplace environment. So this is for the uh, electrical engineer, uh, electrical trade one and uh, electrical trade two. In the meantime, we also have to uh, look at the diploma aspect. So here is an electric gas diploma, 2022.htm. Then you go down. Then you see the YouTube video electric gas engineering lesson. Then click the lesson. Last week we have finished the circuit analysis, E025.
So today we utilize a power socket analysis. So the mesh analysis lesson you have to view that this video and also the so conversion you view the video. Also the Darwin theorem you can view that this video and know the analysis superposition, never analysis and transient socket. So those are the video you have to view. And also the regarding the video lesson you have to see the page 14 to uh, page 25. So this is a video lesson. Page 14 to 45, this is a video lesson.
Those are the uh, calculations of soap mesh analysis and also a soap conversion method. So those are some of the uh, Eisenberg lesson. So you have to look at the two Eisenberg and also you have to view the video. So those are the lesson. Two lessons are you see the you know, power circuit analysis, mesh analysis, soap conversion. Also, the 
Tavani Diura, Nodan Analysis, Subas, Buddhist Diura, AC Nova Analysis, and Transient Sake. So, do a video, do video you can view the video here. They are the Sake Analysis of a video you can view it. And regarding the do video, we also see this are written notes. Written notes is you have to follow the this link. If you do highlight computer talk slash video lesson dot HDF, a PDF, then you look at the page number. Page number 350. This is a circuit analysis. You can see that here so analysis, so combustion, map analysis, but that here is circuit analysis, so combustion, map analysis. Also, how to utilize the determinant to solve the equation. Also, Tavani Diura. Also, equivalent circuit resistant, northern diode. You can also see the northern analysis. And also, the uh, application of the determinant method. And also, Tavani diode, northern superposition diode. Also, you can see the AC circuit analysis, AC Nawab diode. And also, well, those are the pace of 350. To 362. So this is a video lesson. Video lesson that you can see the video lesson, circuit analysis, video lesson, math analysis, so conversion, also the table theora, node analysis, superposition theora, is in our analysis. So this is a video. Those video you have to see. And written notes, you can written notes for the those video you can look at from this link. If you do highlight computer talk slash video lesson dot BDF. So when you click the this link, you can see that uh, this is a written note. So written note is a page 350 to page 362. Page 350 to 362 is contained a written resources and recent note for the those video. So you look at the video and also you read through the notes, then you can get this up, sake analysis. Page number one. Okay, so when we are working as the uh, electrical engineer or electrical installation where you find out the approvals of permit when you install the electrical installation and then we have to seek the permit from the government authority so the approval include the state government approval environment there's a control and authorities approval local council approval supply authorities approval water authority approval which dispose a size of prospectus of permit those they have to be concerned about then we also have to done this do the environment that impact assessment because of that because of the, your project how much are impact on environment damage can happen have need to be assessed so in this case are uh, we have to concern about the transportation because sometimes we have to uh, uh, transport the uh, metal heavy metal heavy cover metal to be transported so it need to assess the uh, low capacity of the road bridge and where the car will carry in truck we pass through in the meantime, we have to adjust the load to the to be transported to meet the capacity of the load and bridge. This is also an important aspect. Then we also have to find out the uh, any copper melting point you are installed. Uh, if you are designing that you are making the copper melting point, you are uh, constructing the copper melting point. In this case, we also have to concern about the air pollution. So the installation of the filter need to be installed for the exhaust fan and the tune to be reduced. At the polluted gas to come out to the air. Before the polluted gas are come out to the air, we had to uh, control the buildings. Air pollution level need to be uh, test, and also the we have to utilize as a starting radius when the uh, air is uh, coming out from the uh, waste of uh, gas are coming out. So the starting level or radius we had to test the air pollution level. Then how the those are uh, as a uh, air that. that polluted air will impact on the environment or impact on the resident need to be also measured about. In the meantime, the uh, uh, removal uh, process, deposit removal process need to be concerned about. Also, that we have to discharge the water from the sub, your uh, 
site in this case uh, we have to install the appropriate fade plant to be installed to remove the harmful containments of the water exhaustion from the plant also important aspect noise and vibration need to be concerned about noise level of the uh, machineries need to be measured and a suitable noise absorption and closure need to be raised. Those are the environment the impact assessment and the preparation for the your uh, uh, polluters uh, size. This is also important aspect. Then we also have to find out the uh, water uh, management plan. So when we are installing the any uh, water waste water uh, waste management plan, so how do uh, Remove the waste also important aspect. The waste are to be uh, stored safely and uh, transported to the sewage base or sewage site also important aspect. And also the the lens are surrounded or uh, erected or the lens adjacent to the your site will be contaminated. Therefore, the need to uh, remove the harmful uh, liquid and material from the waste to prevent the contamination of the lens also. Important.